How many people are responsible for your club emails right now today? How many of you receive club emails? How many of you read them all the time? Keep your hand up. Read every word. Uh, how, yeah, well, this is really important. How many of you actually open them? How many other emails don't you open? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many are you, as soon as you receive one more email, are you like, oh my God, another email? Yeah. All right. All right. Now, one of the reasons that you don't open the email, or if you have opened the email, you don't read it all the way through, is that our attention span is getting smaller and smaller. And right about now, our attention span, on an average, has been estimated to be eight seconds per subject. <laughs> Which means you guys cut out on us a long time ago. <laughs> All right, what's the number one thing every email must have? What must happen for every email? Oh, it's really, it's really much so simple. Get open. You have to get an email opened. All right. What is that key? Subject. Ah, indeed. We have to have dynamic subject lines. This is another email. Is that a dynamic subject line? No. How many of you receive emails that are in black and white, small print, and never read them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm -hmm. All right, these are some emails I've actually sent out. If you're a part of Cosmotech, yeah. th you receive these. Some of the information needed to be big. So once the email gets opened, something this bright, is what it should look like. Bold. Get your attention. Now this abused all the rules, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I always it's important that your email get noticed. I can guarantee you almost everyone will open an email that I have sent because they are used to knowing it's going to be creative when I send it. Very seldom, I, I'm, I'm smiling here at Kathleen because she, she and I have exchanged a bunch of emails that have nothing like this. It's yes, no, I'll do that, no. All right, get noticed. Number one thing is you must have a graphic or a photo to get started. Here I created a bylaw change. This is a banner made right in PowerPoint. I'll show you how to make those, or I'll tell you how to make those. John Kesey, this is our District 52 contest winner who is going to the semifinals. Yeah. That's, that's the, make it fun. Now I thought that this really big wonderful graphic, I was trying to promote the idea that every single person should have a pocket speech. Yes. So that when someone cancels on short notice, you can step up and give the pocket speech. 50% of the people, well, there's not 50% men in this room. 50% of the people in this room really like this. <laughs> and 50% of the people find it offensive. Mm. I never actually use this picture. Mm. It's important that you think in that term of when you're using a graphic. Is it politically correct to send it? Mm. This is a little edgy. It's not bad, but it might be a little offensive to some people. So I, it's not important. It's not worth it to offend one member. So I didn't use it. It's exactly the same as giving a speech. Consider your audience. I have to tell you that Shauna is probably the most succinct person that I know. That she is very good at content and narrowing it down. And so I'll have her tell you about succinct. Your emails, again, are going to be read within eight seconds or less. Not a bunch of verbiage not a lot of language. This isn't the time to write a speech. This is the time to pop it out, make it stand out, and make it go away quickly. Or people will not stay long enough in that email to read your material. There are exceptions to that. Richard will point out one in just a moment. Every one of your emails has to have an action item. What's the point of sending out an email if you're not going to have an action item? Don't just send an email for promotional purposes and not tell them what you want them to do. Make sure that what you want them to do is very clear. See you at the next meeting. No guesswork here. 
If there is additional information somebody needs to know about the content of this email, put a link in the email. Don't write it in the email. Put a link in the email. If you write it in the email, what's going to visually appear on the screen is a whole bunch of text. Eight seconds, folks. Done. Fast. So it's got to be fast. Every, every email must be readable. Your default, go ahead, I'll let you give these. Your email has to be readable and in order to get read quickly, 14 point type. Mm -hmm. On this screen, because we're in a presentation mode here, this might not look like it's all that big. But compare it to this. You can probably see neither one of those from the back of the room. But when you're up at, a, at your computer screen, you can see them both. Which one can you read the fastest? 14. Exactly. Go to 11 or 12 point type, which is your typical document type face mm -hmm. size. It's too small. And it's too small. People won't read it. It's, it's, it's your email default is either 11 or 12. So reset so your, your email default to 14 point or select the entire page that you're working on and change it to 14 point. Don't start with anything smaller than 14 point or it won't get read. Should it be larger than 16? It can be larger. If it's too large, somebody working off of a phone or a tablet, it will be too big. But so I might go to 16. I wouldn't 16 go to 18. 16 is fine. And there are some typefaces that are naturally tighter. Uh -huh. So you have to experiment with what you're using. Do not use all caps in an email. No matter how tempted you are to highlight something by using all capital letters, it is commonly thought of as yelling at your reader. Don't use all caps. And it tires your eye. If you read an entire paragraph of all caps, your eye gets tired and stops. And also, just as a hint on headlines, check your typeface to see how it looks in all caps. Script typefaces written in all caps are completely unreadable. So make sure you're using a typeface that is appropriate when you must use all capitals. But generally speaking, electronic communications written in all capitals comes across as yelling. Mm -hmm. We do not want to yell at our audiences. Mm -hmm. Highlight important items in color for their emphasis. I use all bold all the time. I want in 14 point, I use bold all the time. In the examples that I showed you, that's bold. This happens to be blue. I created this banner, this Cosmotech Moments of Truth banner within uh, PowerPoint. I wouldn't say publish it, that's where I hadn't created it. In PowerPoint, and I can cut and paste directly from PowerPoint. I use uh, Firefox. Is that what I mean? Firefox. Yes. Firefox, and I can cut and paste directly. But if not, you can save it as a JPEG. You'll see that he has two lines in this email in color. Mm -hmm. They are the most important two lines of the entire email. This moment's of truth is the exception to the rule. This is a report on a bylaw change. You have to give the detail. You're required to give the detail that you're announced to your your club that you're going to make a bylaw change. The highlights are telling you exactly what the bylaw change is. And the second highlight is, this is when we're gonna vote on it. Mm -hmm. Those are the two things that are on it and why they're emphasized for this. So don't be afraid to use color inside your email. Just not all color if you have something to emphasize. I like to respond to people's emails in all blue just because I like it. But it comes across to the typical eye as just black and white because it's all one color. If I have something to emphasize, I change the color. And there right. you have it. There yeah. is the grassroots of PR right there. You've learned about flyers. Flyers will lead you to everything else. You can do a newsletter using that flyer technique. You can make a newsletter with that technique. More importantly, you can make 
emails with pizzazz. <laughs> And if you there is no anything longer, Richard is known for, it's his pizzazz. <laughs> you no longer need to have, you don't have to have your emails ignored because you don't know how to add pizzazz to it. I guarantee you, I, I wish I had enough of my Cosmo people in the room so I could ask you how many people you all will always open an email for me. Because they're always interested to see what next thing I'm using as a graphic. But he also <laughs> threatens them. 